Good afternoon. We're convening the Senate Committee on Transportation. This is our first public hearing of the 2021 session. Um, I do want to introduce myself, um, Senator Chris Lee, I represent the Wimmer side of Oahu. With me is our Vice Chair Lorraine Inouye from the Big Island. And we'll be joined by some of our other committee members uh, online, unless, yes, unless they walk in the room with us any minute. But in the meantime, we did have a couple um, differences this year. Acknowledging, of course, we're going to be conducting this hearing online. We did want to make everyone aware that uh, we do have all the written testimony that was submitted. Uh, as well, we have a number of people who submitted testimony who um, will be available online, provided that was submitted 24 hours in advance. And then we'll be limiting testifiers to two minutes to make sure everybody has an opportunity to speak. Um, and after which, of course, our senators can uh, open up for question and answer. Uh, oh, it looks like Senator Favela is joining us online. Um, that said, if this meeting does get cut off because of technical reasons or whatever it is, uh, the plan is to return at our next committee hearing, which is going to be this Thursday at 3 p.m., to pick up where we left off with anything that might have been left. Oh, okay. Probably 3 o'clock. <laughs> She did the countdown though. Oh yeah, they give us the <laughs> countdown. Okay. okay, in any event, um, up first today is Senate Bill 375 relating to transportation, which requires the Department of Transportation to conduct a study to determine the feasibility of repairing or renovating the Kalailoa Air Traffic Control Tower. And testifying first is the Department of Transportation. They're with us in support. Um, also have testimony from the Kapolei Neighborhood Board Transportation Committee, also in support. That's all the written testimony we have, and it looks like that's everyone we have in the hearing at the moment. Um, so that being said, since we can't ask questions, since there's no one here to ask questions of, let's move on to the next measure. Senate Bill 151, relating to the statewide traffic code, which replaces the term accident with collision for the purposes of certain provisions of the statewide traffic code. And testifying first, again, is the Department of Transportation Services, or excuse me, Department of Transportation in support. Um, also have the Strategic Highway Safety Plan in support. Uh, Department of Prosecuting Attorney. Good afternoon, Chair, Vice Chair, Member of the Committee, Deputy Prosecuting Attorney Mark Tom uh, for the Department of the Prosecuting Attorney's Office. Um, the department is in support of Senate Bill 151. Um, Chair, Vice Chair, I think you had the same bill last year's last session in your respective committees. Um, so it's not anything new that you haven't heard. However, just generally in 2019, we were part of a working group that was facilitated by the Department of Transportation. Um, Senate Bill, the substance of Senate Bill 151 was the product of some suggestions from that working group. <clears throat> Specifically, it was um, changing the term accident to collision. Uh, we've always intended for accident to mean collision. Uh, however, uh, when uh, it does cause issues with certain types of offenses when um, charged at the same time, uh, specifically when you're looking at leaving the scene of an accident, when, because accident is not defined in the HRS right now, we have to look at what the plain language of it is in the dictionary common form, which is you know, lots of times it's unexpected, unintentional. Um, it's basically by chance, uh, which kind of really uh, has a problematic effect when we're charging it with uh, negligent homicide cases. There's an argument that can be made because <clears throat> negligent homicide um, involves a negligent state of mind and the fact that leaving the scene of an accident is purely by chance, purely accident. Um, there's an argument that could be made in those cases. Um, in terms of intentional acts, intentional state of mind charges while leaving the scene of an accident. Uh, but this would just be able to clarify what we've already um, been assuming accident meant um, in terms of collision. So thank you for allowing me to testify. Thank you very much. Testifying next is the Honolulu Police Department. Good afternoon, Chair. Good afternoon. I'm on the Honolulu Police Department. We stand by our testimony in support of this bill. Thank you. That's all the written testimony we have. Um, are there any questions? Mm -hmm. If not, thank you. Let's move on to the next measure. Senate Bill 651, 
relating to renaming Kahului Airport Access Road, which renames uh, the road on Maui as the Mayor Elmer Carvalho Way. And testifying first on 651 is the Department of Transportation. In support, um, Mayor Mike Victorino. In support, uh, Council Chair Alice Lee. In support, Council Member Yuki Le Sugimura. In support, Maui Federal Credit Union. In support, we have a number of individuals, uh, Patrick Constantino, Cora Constantino. This is all going to be in support. Um, Virgilio Ecolico, Alan Vares, uh, Dick Mayer, Lydia Coloma, Alfredo Evangelista, and F. Baxa, all in support. That's all the written testimony we have. And seeing as there's nobody to ask questions of, let's move on to the. Oh, is he? Hi, Chair. Alfredo is not present in the meeting. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's move on to the next measure, Senate Bill 60. Relating to special number plates, which authorizes the issuance of special number license plates representing the Polynesian Voyaging Society for Electric Vehicles. And testifying first is the Hawaii State Energy Office. Good afternoon. Aloha, Chair Lee and Vice Chair Inoue. This is an exciting time. The Hawaii State Energy Office stands on its testimony in support. Mahalo. Thank you very much. Uh, testifying next is the City and County of Honolulu in support. Uh, City and County of Honolulu Department of Customer Services in support. Uh, citizen and Botticelli for Citizen in support. Polynesian Voyaging Society in support. And we have um, additional testimony from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, another 14 individuals, all in support. Must be a good bill. All right, if there's no other um, live testifiers, we do have all the written testimony, so are there any questions? Nope. If not, thank you. Let's move on to the next measure, SB 772, relating to transportation, which authorizes the issuance of special license plates to support uh, forest and ocean conservation with proceeds to fund conservation efforts, uh, DLNR. And testifying first is DLNR. Good afternoon, committee chairs and vice chairs. Irene Sprecher with the Department of Land and Natural Resources. You can stand on our testimony in support of the bill and hear for any questions. Thank you very much. Up next, uh, City and County of Honolulu in support. And Michael Ferreira, individual with comments. That's all the testimony we have. Are there any questions? If not, all right, let's move on to our final measure for today. Uh, Senate Bill 667 relating to license plates, which requires the Director of Finance to furnish to an owner of a vehicle one rather than two license plates for the vehicle. And testifying first is the Department of Transportation in opposition. Uh, City and County of Honolulu in support. Honolulu Police Department. Good afternoon again, Chair. I'm Major Calvin Tom with Honolulu Police Department. We stand on my testimony in opposition to this bill. Thank you. Uh, we also have testimony from an additional four individuals, uh, Val Valdez, Ryan Christopher, Kui Boke, and Ryan Nall, all in support. That's all the testimony you have. Are there any questions on this one? Mm -mm. Uh, if not, for HPD, uh, real quick, I had a question on, you know, I think some of the, some of the comments from Department of Transportation um, and HPD cited having one license plate on one end of a vehicle, obviously, if there's red light cameras implemented, which I know the legislature has been working on for some time, um, that you raise some concerns about that. But obviously other places also have red light cameras and in some cases do have one license plate. So how do, do you know how they run their programs and, and what's different there? I'm not familiar with that. Um, we haven't looked into that. Uh, this is the first that I heard that um, they're introducing another bill. 
this year for to remove one of the plates. Um, we have other reasons why. Um, we also use a automated license plate reader uh, that the officers have on their vehicles that uh, shoot a camera at the front license plates or the back license plates. And a lot of times we can detect stolen vehicles or wanted vehicles that way. So um, it, it will be used very similar to the red light camera project. Okay. I, don't know how, I don't know how the camera will take a picture without a license plate mm -hmm. unless it, they're taking it um, as the vehicle's driving away also. That would be pretty impractical also though. Yeah, thank you. Further questions? Further yes, I had, uh, it's more a comment. Um, and I just wanted to share that um, this past year, uh, actually it was the latter part of last year, I witnessed uh, someone driving up and took some mail out of my mailbox and arrived right after the mail person. Um, uh, and the person, because I witnessed it, I was on a hill at my home, but when the car left, you know, I had no knowledge of uh, tracking the truck down. However, um, he also, that person, and we know it was a he, and um, had driven down uh, the one-way street uh, and uh, also picked up a, the mail from another, my neighbor's um, mailbox. Um, and there were um, neighbors down the street that saw the truck and immediately took pictures of the truck on the, and with the license plate in the back. So, you know, that's something of an incident too that you know, if one wants to make sure that they can identify, you know, a vehicle uh, in the process of either thefts or something, it would be so convenient because it, you can either take it from the front or the back. So just some comments, um, Chair. Thank you. Okay. Any further questions? If not, um, that's the last measure on our agenda uh, this afternoon. So we do have um, joining us also Senator Miley Shimabukuro. Um, perfect timing for decision making. So with that, we'll take a quick recess and go into decision making. Recess. Okay, good afternoon. We're reconvening the Committee on Transportation here in Senate Conference Room 224 mm -hmm. and online for decision making on our 3 p.m. agenda. Up first is SB 375 relating to transportation, which requires the Department of Transportation to conduct a study to determine the feasibility of repairing or renovating the Kailua Airport Traffic Control, uh, excuse me, Air Traffic Control Tower. Um, want to move this forward uh, with amendments as a Senate Draft 1 um, just noting some of the um, issues raised by DOT about the timeline. Uh, Want to give them time to take a look at this. So having talked to the introducer, uh, we'd like to move this forward to the Ways and Means Committee. And so the amendment we'd make would just move the reporting period back one year so that it gives mm -hmm. DOT time to figure the situation out. So, so instead of um, uh, and the introduction at, in 2022 to 2023, right. Chair? Fine. That's right. Okay, any other questions, comments? Okay. If not, please take the vote. Okay, uh, Chair's recommendation is to pass SB 375 with amendments. Uh, Chair Lee? Aye. Okay, Vice Chair, I go aye. Uh, Senator English is excused. Senator Shimabukuro? Aye. Uh, Senator Favela? Aye. Okay, foreign support, Mr. Chair, the measure is adopted. Thank you. Moving on to Senate Bill 151 relating to the statewide traffic code, which replaces the term accident with collision for the purposes of certain provisions of statewide traffic code. Uh, seeing everyone in support, recommendation is to move as is. Any comments? Any questions? If not, uh, please take the vote. Okay, thank you. Um, Chair's recommendation on SB 151 is to pass unamended. Chair Lee. Aye. Uh, Vice Chair goes aye. Senator English is excused. Senator Shimabukuro. Aye. Okay, Senator Favela. Senator Favela. 
Aye. Okay. Uh, measure is adopted, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Moving on to Senate Bill 651 relating to renaming Kahului Airport Access Road. Um, recommendation is to move this forward as is. Any comments? Excuse me. Any I questions? Run, I ran out of. Oh, ink. yeah. Okay. Uh, that's uh, 651. 651. Uh, okay. Recommendation to move as is. Okay. Chair's recommendation on SB 651 is to pass unamended. Chair Lee. Aye. Vice Chair goes aye. Senator English is excused. Senator Shimabukuro. Aye. Senator Favela. Aye. Okay, measure is adopted, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Uh, moving on to our next measure, SB 60, relating to special number plates, which authorizes the issuance of special number license plates representing the Polynesian Voyaging Society for Electric Vehicles. Uh, recommendation is to move this on as is. Any comments? Any questions? Okay. Not, Chair's, Chair's recommendation on SB 60 is to pass unamended. Chair Lee. Aye. Vice Chair goes aye. Senator English is excused. Senator Shimabukuro. Aye. Uh, Senator Favela. Senator Favela. Senator Favela. <laughs> Senator Favela on SB 60. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Chair, uh, measure is adopted. Thank you. Moving on to the next measure, SB 772 relating to transportation, which authorizes the issuance of special license plates to support forest conservation and ocean uh, conservation at DLNR. Our recommendation is to move um, with actually just one amendment, um, which was an oversight in drafting on my part. But um, we want to just add in language that says that funds going into the beach restoration special fund um, were, were intended to be used for beach and nearshore environmental cleanups. So it's just adding a point of clarification to the uh, existing special fund that's referenced within the bill. And I'll note this goes on to the Ways and Means Committee um, for further review. Okay. Chair's recommendation on SB 772 is to pass with amendments. Chair, Chair Lee. Aye. Vice Chair goes aye. Senator English is excused. Senator Shimabukuro. Aye. Senator Favela. Aye. Okay. Measure is adopted, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Moving on to the final measure, SB 667, relating to license plates, which requires the Director of Finance to furnish to an owner of a vehicle one rather than two number plates uh, for the vehicle. Recommendation is to move this on. I want to acknowledge um, the uh, I think concerns raised by DOT and HPD, but sounds like there's a discussion here, so I don't want to defer the bill just yet. This would go on to the Judiciary Committee, so hopefully we can have them take a look at um, those issues, and we'll note that in the committee report. So for the moment, um, we'll move this on. Um, in fact, just adding a defective date to it. And we can okay. let, and tech amendments. Thank you. Okay. Chair's recommendation on SB 667 is to pass with amendments. Chair Lee. Aye. Vice Chair goes aye. Senator English is excused. Senator Shimabukuro. Aye. Senator Favela. Congratulations. Okay, measures adopted, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. All right, this concludes our hearing. Thank you so much, everyone. We're adjourned.